Hey guys, it's your girl Alexi from Red Carpet Fly, and I am back to deliver you some more entertainment content. <laughs> um, I thought it would be a really fun idea to kind of record some of my reactions from movie trailers that I look at, you know, as a entertainment uh correspondent, I look at tons, 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 tons of movie um, trailers to prep for some of your favorite celebrity interviews. So I just thought it would be a cool, fun way to kind of bring you along on that journey with me. And also so we can kind of, you know, kiki a little bit about um, the, the upcoming trailer. You know, movie trailers are so important because they can really make or break a movie before it even is, before anyone sees it. So movie trailers are super important. Um, in light of Black History Month, as we know, it's February. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kick this off with Judas and the Black, uh, and the Black Messiah. Now, Judas and the Black Messiah, it stars um, Daniel Kulia, Kaluya, excuse me, and... Uh, Lakeith uh, Stanfield, and I believe Martin Sheen is in it, and also Laurel, but it has a, a number of star power in this movie. And this movie is about Fred Hampton, who is the, I believe, president and chairman of the Black Panther Party um, in Illinois. So it, it talks about him, and it also talks about the fatal betrayal uh, of the FBI uh, informant, William O'Neill. Now, um, if you guys don't know much about the Black Panthers, the Black Panthers were, were a black political organization all about the empowerment of black people. Um, it was started by Huey P. Newton in Oakland, California, and it was all about, um, you know, just protecting black people and uh, having equal rights by any means necessary. Um, the, black the Black Panthers were not about inciting violence, but if they had to defend themselves, they would. Um, and uh, a good documentary, just to get a little bit of context on this movie, you should see the um, documentary, I believe you can find it on Netflix or PBS, it's called The Black Panthers, The Vanguard of a Revolution, and it really talks about the origins of the Black Panthers, and it also talks about um, Fred Hampton, and um, and about his life a little bit. Uh the FBI infiltrating black organizations is nothing new. This happened uh, with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. So, you know, it's, I mean, this is so, this is so regular. It, it's not surprising. Um, back then, the FBI thought of the Black Panthers as a terroristic group and justified uh, in infiltrating that. And um, they used uh, people that were already within the organization to be informants, hence William O'Neill. Um, and, and how they would do that is, you know, they would uh, use things like if they were a thief or they had some trouble with the law, they would leverage that and uh, use that against them and turn them into informants. But anyways, enough about that. You can hear all about that uh, in that documentary I mentioned, The Black Panthers, a rev the vanguard of a revolution. Um, right now, we're about to get into this movie trailer, so no more history lesson. Let's get into it. Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton of the Illinois Black Panther Party. Repeat after me. I am, I am a revolutionary. Already trouble. Mm. You're looking at 18 months for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Their aim is to sow hatred and inspire terror. I will learn all that I can. These ain't no terrorists. 
You can murder a liberator, but you can't murder liberation. You can murder a revolutionary, but you can't murder revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder freedom. Okay, so a few things here. Um, I'm already geeked up to see this movie. I don't know about you, but I'm geeked up to see it. And the reason I'm geeked up to see it is because um, it looks like it's got intrigue. It's got, you know, the double agent informant thing. It has your uh, high energy, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's just it's just full of high energy. It looks like this movie from the moment you start watching it, it moves. It just moves. So you got to keep up. So I really like that because this is this is definitely not a documentary. Um, what I really liked about this movie is um, if you guys uh, take a look at the Black Panther Party. If you look at that movie called um, that documentary I mentioned earlier earlier, the Black Panthers, the vanguard of a revolution, they kind of talk about this. Now, the Black Panthers were really integral in uh, providing free lunch. And um, some of the things that they would do, this is the actual Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton was a good orator. He would make you, from what I've heard, is that he would he would make you, um, you know, uh, he would energize you. He had that type of speaking ability, and he would always start out a lot of his, um, a lot of his speeches with "I am a revolutionary," which the trailer, you know, so well, uh, so pointed out, you know. So, um, and you, and we saw the girl crying in there. That was not uncommon when Fred Hampton spoke. Um, they talked about this rainbow revolutionary, uh, this rainbow coalition, excuse me, the rainbow coalition, uh, Fred Hampton was very much forward thinking and he was thinking as far as, uh, you know, not only were black people being treated bad, but he also noticed that other, other people, other minorities were being treated bad and he wanted to kind of bring together a coalition to help for equal rights. Again, not a history lesson, but I'm glad that they put it in the trailer. Also, um, in the trailer, you could see, you know, uh, like I said, about the the Black Panther started the free lunch program. A lot of there's a lot of poor people, especially a lot of poor people back then, you know, and kids would go to go to school hungry. So the Black Panther started, you know, with free lunch and free breakfast and they would feed your kids because it's all about helping the community. And this was incorporated into a lot of school programs today. Uh, so that was something that was very integral, which, of course, you saw uh, with them in the in the cafeteria. So. Uh, Again, I'm just flipping through, or you guys are seeing some pictures here of just um, some Black Panther pictures. Uh, I want to see this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm energized. I'm energized, and I just saw just the movie trailer. So it'll be interesting if this movie is not good. Um, Ryan Coogler, I, I believe, didn't he do um, Black Panther, the movie, with... Uh, you know, Wakanda and all that stuff. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm geeked up to see it. You guys, comment below if you want to see this uh, or if you've already seen it, you know. And uh, if you like this and you want to see more, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next movie trailer reaction. Um, oh, here it is, guys. <laughs> the Black Panthers, the Vanguard of a Revolution. Good, good documentary. Anyways, if you like this, you want to see more, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. And until the next movie trailer reaction. Always stay fly.